Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I'm doing paid reviews. And this is from Rudy. Dear Archie, I just paid 20 US dollars for advice on a Yachtmaster 40mm blue steel dial. Blue dial steel. I explained that I already had a Rolex two-tone Submariner with blue dial, a Rolex Daytona in stainless steel with a black dial, and I was interested in purchasing the Yachtmaster. However, I have now bought it, so I would like to know what you think my next purchase should be. I was thinking of a Rolex GMT day and night. Thoughts, please? Okay. Very interesting advice here. What do I think, fuckers? I think I better plug in my speakers before the battery, the battery goes dead on it. Don't you love these fucking... Bluetooth devices. This is the same fucking one I couldn't get to work with my laptop, fuckers. So let's have a think there. What's he got? He's got a, uh, a two tone Submariner. He's got a steel Daytona. Two tone blue. Steel black. He's got a Yacht Master with a blue dial. GMT all the way. And uh, if you wanted to, you could always go Explorer 2. I love the Explorer 2. And uh, I, I think, you know, realistically here with your collection, it's nice to have, if you're building a little mini collection, it's nice to have watches for different purposes. You've got your two-tone sub as your dive, your Daytona as your chronograph, you've got the Yachtmeister as your sort of your, your more casual you know, yacht club, lounge lizard type watch. Add a GMT. And uh, I, I reckon you're pretty well set. You're pretty well set. And uh, can't get better than that. That's a beautiful little collection. And uh, you've got a watch for every purpose there. Fit for purpose. Fit for purpose, Rudy. I um I I really think myself there it's good to have a nice balanced collection. There's some people who have they concentrate on subs, they want every fucking variation. But I, I think it's nice to have you, know, you got a two-tone sub, that's that's a fucking beautiful piece. Black dial steel Daytona, oh that's just gorgeous. A yacht master, steel with blue dial, yes. And uh You'd have to add a GMT. I mean, Explorer 2. If you're buying it new, I know Rudy. I've actually spoken to Rudy on the phone. And uh, I'd have to say, if you're buying it new, I'd be, I wouldn't be paying retail. I, I would be buying the GMT. I think the GMT, if you're buying it new, it's probably a better investment than an Explorer 2. If you're buying on the used market, it's a different story. I'd be buying the Explorer 2. So, uh, if you, but if you are buying new, and Rudy does like to buy new, I've discussed it with him on the phone in secret, I'd um, go for the Explorer would not be a, as good an idea for retained value as a GMT. Go for a GMT, I'd probably go for a Batman! No, 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 Batman! Batman! That's what I'd be doing. I would be adding a GMT. I reckon that's a great collection. Fit for purpose. Beautiful, beautiful collection there. And that's all you fucking need. That's, I love, I actually really love these compact collections. I think they've got a lot going for them. And uh, I've got to be honest with you, in my own collection, I'm thinking about flicking the gold sub. I don't even know if I need it. I don't even know if I need it. I've got my uh, Explorer 2. I got my Omega Speedmaster, Man on the Fucking Moon. I got my Reverso. And I got a Datejust. <coughs> That's a four steel stunners. What more do I fucking want? What more do I want? And, you know, I, I think a nice compact collection like that really has got legs. It's got legs, so um, I, I love your collection. I think that's really, really quite quite a nice collection there. You can't ask for better than that. Rolex, that's, that's instantly cashable, instant currency. You got all your bases covered, Rudy. Just fucking enjoy it. 
use them and fucking remember Archie Luxury. Archie told you. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.